So at least for the people watching, would you say it is advisable for somebody to choose to mill their own feed as against buying the ready-made feed? Hi guys, so it's been a stressful day here in um, Abelkuta and I'm with Mr. Alamo Olatunde. Alamo Olatunde of Living okay, Feed yeah. Meal. So we're actually checking out his feed meal uh, for feed ingredients and um, how to formulate feed for broilers. Then I decided to have a discussion with him so that you guys can benefit from it. So Mr. Alamo, thank you very much for welcoming us to your feed meal uh -huh. and uh, can you please tell my people when did you start this feed meal? Uh, living feed meal started about six years ago okay 2015 they were about okay and uh, since then God has been helping us to yeah. produce feed for all class of livestock wow. and so that's, far that's God has good. been helping us thank God Okay, and like I was engaging you earlier, I think you started from using shovel yeah, yeah, yeah. to we mix feed until you came to this um, area. Meal. Okay, uh, right now, Mr. Alamo, the living feed meal has, um, I think, 1.5 ton capacity machine, and um, they are milling feed. Even as we are speaking now, they are working inside the factory. So, uh, please, can you tell us what are the few challenges you have encountered in the course of the six years? Um, we appreciate God so far. A lot of challenges. Um, okay, firstly, the power. Hmm. The major thing, if you want to run any factory in Nigeria, you need to have a, a power backup. Okay. Power source has been giving us a much challenge. Um, PHC and IBDC have not been giving us constant That's true. <laughs> <laughs> power supply. That's yeah, why we are connected to them. Yeah. Um, we've been running on our 40 kva generator okay. which consumes nothing less than 7000 watt of diesel per day wow um, to run for how many hours to run for like five to six hours wow, wow. that's a lot mm. that's a lot but we thank god we are still in business okay that's power challenge any other yeah, challenge yeah. with customers and all that um another challenge that we've been facing is the Increase in price of moral materials. Oh, we sure. have never uh, had a stable, uh, uh, um, pr uh, a stable price for years. Mm. Eh? Probably, within, I'm, I'm within, two within, <laughs> <laughs> within, within one year, uh, twelve calendar month, we can have a pricing of about five or six times. In yes, six times. And it's always increasing. Increasing. <laughs> there has never been a day where. <laughs> Uh, where well, there will be a reduce in price of any raw material. Majorly, wow. the major material are the grains, which is maize. Mm. Uh, there was a time it was very scarce to get a ton of maize. Mm. It's not so easy, but yeah. at least uh, we see coping. We coping. Okay, we thank God. So, at least for the people watching, would you say it is advisable for somebody to choose to mill their own feed as against buying the ready-made feed? Um, yeah, it depends on the knowledge that you have, right? Mm. I, I am an animal scientist. Wow. I know the integrity of uh, on formulation, the wow. requirement of what the animal, the likes, to, uh, the animals require, and the materials to mix together to get the kind of um, result, that you result and the nutrient requirement of that material. So okay. if you get gather that experience you know, formulate a feed and give it to your bed and they perform the economy <laughs> return you get from it will be better than going out there to go and get the finished feed mm, that's um, true. but it's for those people that knows it uh, it's for those, and again there are some people that doesn't want stress in their business you have a poultry you don't yeah, want stress yeah. so you want the ready-made thing so you go out there and get a finished feed but mm. For you that want results and that want economic returns in your business, you go for uh, um, formulating feed. But first thing is the result, the um, what is it, the quality of the feed you're giving to the bear, because the mm. quality determines their output. Yeah, yeah. So if the quality is right, definitely you get a better output. And again, 
for formulating your feed, you can manipulate against the weather challenges. If you have hot weather, you do a feed that will suit them because of the hot mm. season that you have. And if you are in cold season, you give them the kind of feed that they require because of the weather condition yeah. at that particular point in time. But mm. finished feed, you can't get such. Yeah. So yes, yes. those are the advantage. Yes. Formulating feed as uh, over um, finished feed. Yeah. That's the head they are. And, and of course, even the place we are buying the feed, they mm. actually formulated it too. So I don't think. And actually, yes. There's yes. any difference. So you are just buying yeah. it. You are just yeah. not engaging in the exactly. uh, in the actual practice of formulating Exa it. Exactly. You're just buying exactly. The exactly. Ready -made and one. also, um, there are some things that are some organic consistent you can add into your feed that yeah. is not there in the ready that, you, that they can't just serve everybody on exactly. commercial scale exactly so, so you can decide to just add it some additives and it works for you you, you get it you get okay it. that's a very good one sir uh, i actually decided to engage um my brother here as he was displaying his knowledge in um animal science and um poultry science uh, actually so First of all, you mentioned the fact that the OBJ Marshall actually grow tall. I know, you, I know you guys must have heard me say that. Um, uh, it's a display of experience. And he has also mentioned a very, very key thing here that you can serve your birds, different uh, feed, different formulation based on the weather condition. The prevailing weather is very important. And that is what you will not get from the ready-made feed that is commercially sold. But you can do that when you are formulating your feet. So, so if you think you've gotten value from this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are new to this channel. There are loads and loads of benefits uh, if you subscribe. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.